Hey folks, welcome to the 25th Let's Play of Wine and Blood, Witcher 3 DLC. We are going to try the bed. We haven't tried laying the bed. Evidently, it's got abilities. Let's take a look at it. We are at a Jello Alert level 0 and the Ghost Alert level 0. They're both asleep in the next room. They've both been very lovey this weekend. I'm glad I have them both. Probably the hubby more. So we have... Bed level noble, duration 60 minutes, maximum vitality increased by 500 points. Library, duration 60 minutes, 5% bonus experience gain during combat. Alchemy laboratory, bombs and potions gain an additional charge. Stables, duration 60 minutes, roach's stamina increased by 100%. <gasps> oh, this is fantastic. I didn't know you got bonuses. Oh, this is fantastic. Let's do this. Let's get some sleep. I wonder if that's enough rest. Vitality bonus applied. Excellent. Oh, that is really cool. Okay, so there was an advantage to do all this. That makes me happy. Can I go out here? Yep, this is how I get out of here. All right, let's go sharpen our, sharpen our weapons, and then we got to take the witch's brew back to Regis. Um, sharpen first. Come on over here. All right, so if I look... Oh, oh, so first thing I did, I'll, I'll go to the inventory and show you. So you remember Iris, I was given on the other DLC. I replaced it. It's hanging up in the, I don't want to sell it. It's hanging up in the house. I replaced it with the Emmentaler. If you remember, that's the sword I forged out of the cheese. It does two points less damage, but it gets plus 20 fire damage in the sign intensity. And it, it's just a higher, better weapon, a little bit better weapon. So I was pretty excited to use that. That's pretty cool. We have lots of space to pick things up. I am thinking, do we want to do the next one of these, or what about any backup quests? Do we want to do any of the secondary quests instead? Um, no place like home, but we're still working on that. Okay, so we, and, and the rest of these are Gwent. I don't want Gwent. And, ooh, big game hunter. Let's see. You know what? We're high level. Let's do Big Game Hunter, because I think our regular quest is now higher. Yep, now higher level. So let's do the lower level one. I'm going to Big Game Hunter, and then Treasure Hunt would be... Oh, yes, we'll do Big Game Hunter first. I will see you folks where we need to go, because evidently these people were looking for me specifically. Yeah, I have to go visit the Count, because I need to still earn money, and that's my thing in the end, is I'm a hey, Big Game Hunter. Not so fast, Roach. All right, what's going on over here? Hey, what's workers. Up, Ice? You make uh, mountains out of sweat. Oh, God, what's going to happen? Lads, I find your concern touching. I do. Yet I've long awaited this day. So you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah, it seems my guide has arrived. Greetings. Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice? <laughs> Foolish question. You're here, thus you must have seen it. Forgive me, I should introduce myself. Count Belladal, a great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? A right hardy fellow he is, no ponce, I'm sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it, right daft. You exaggerate, Vilmar. I believe I can manage to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me arse in my stead. My guards lament, Witcher, but you must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks, as you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I've a rather extraordinary proposition for you. I'm a lover, Witcher, of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. And Toussaint is home to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to, uh, preserve them. Ahem. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, naturally, you'll protect me should the need arise. My ever-vigilant guards, see, will report any reckless behaviour to my wife if I get so much as a scratch. And then woe will be me. Count Belladol? Famous poultry farmer, is that it? <clears throat> <laughs> well, that was my grandpapa. Dear man. But my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. 
the very reason for my frequent visits to Beauclair, uh, during which I like to uh, partake of nature, let us say. Really need a witcher to uh, partake? Got guards of your own. Take them. Save some coin. I could, surely. But they too deserve a bit of rest, relaxation. Right, lads? <laughs> Besides, I've plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Who dares stop me? Ah, so this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. There's also Clarissa who... Vilma, please. Who what? Uh, my daughter. I always return from my travels with some souvenir or another. She looks forward to them tremendously. <laughs> but uh, we did not meet to chat about my family. We must discuss our venture, must we not? Need some details before I can say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Of this device, see? Uh, a parastisomac. It, uh, it captures, uh, likenesses. A parasesta what? It's like a movable megascope. Capturing moments, transforming them into illusions, based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. Well, and uh, should any trouble arise, we'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed. All right, let's do it. I like it. Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime. In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me and marked out their ranges on the map. Good thinking. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? Yes, let's. The light seems perfect just now. <laughs> to be honest, every last man Jacques in these parts has but wine and wheat. Um, 189, I think. Wouldn't we can rather be going. out here with those guards of yours? <laughs> you jest. It's deliverance to emerge from under their wings, believe me. They're overprotective, uh, oppressively so. I wish to admire the wildlife, preserve it, not watch them kill it in a fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? Then we shall have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something supper for you, but as long as they remain calm, we've no need to provoke them. It's, it's of the utmost. Map says there should be panthers around here. Grunting, Stay close. Panting. Keep your eyes peeled. Something like but a bear. One request, Witcher. Avoid bloodshed, if at all possible. Okay, let's go to Axie then, because I might be able to stun them if that's possible. Hear that? Um, Deer, I think. Incredible. Sharp as a razor, you're hearing. Hear that? Panthers. Frankly, I did not hear a thing. Clearly, your senses are far more acute than mine. I must rely on them. Yeah, you should do that. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, nothing over there. Damn poachers. Snares. Looks like they were hoping for a bear. Panther got caught instead. Look, a cold. Oh. Will you help the mother? Give it a shot. Gotta calm her first. You Likely to lunge at us otherwise. Image. Here we go. Let's free him. Okay, everybody just calm down. How do I get you free? How do I get you free? Oh, there we go. I guess I just had to select the book. There we go. Folk call witches heartless. This will put the light to that. Parastisomax upset the animals. Better get out of here. I cannot abide poaching. I'm content you share my love for animals. 
I, I wouldn't say I would share your love Got for animals, pretty broad interests for a man of the city. I suppose I dabble in my share of things. Wine, nature, painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous. With all due respect. It is. Never boring, though. Uh, I, for one, cannot fathom only ever consorting with the same creatures, day in and day out. Got a wife? Oh, 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 that was, that was low, man. I have Triss. Why are you making fun of his wife? Because Triss... Okay, I'm looking for the giant centipede. So let's look over here really quick. We're in the Shh. area. Hear him. It's those... Uh, centipedes. Giant. Underground tunnel burrowers. Make a distinct sound. We can use that to track them. Sounds loud and clear here. Must be near the nest. We're here. Well, this vantage point's no good. I shan't capture a good image from here. All right, wait. We'll find you a better spot that's safe, too. Tread lightly. Giant centipedes sense the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up, it wakes up angry. Come on, are you coming over here, buddy? Oh, wait, How about there. here? I don't know. Isn't it a bit close? Right. We'll find another spot. <laughs> I love how he's like, isn't it a bit close? All right. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Seems like a safe spot. Safe, perhaps. But it offers no view whatsoever. Mm. Fine. We'll keep looking. Oh, my God, dude. You're killing me here. You're going to kill yourself here, too, if you're not careful. Come on up and around. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. This here, work. maybe. Distance seems right. Light's not bad, either. Yes. This will work perfectly. Come on. Come on, Count. Can you lure them out? Give me a minute. Need to think. Vibrations. Gotta send some through the ground. I'll try tossing a bomb or casting a sign. And you watch out. Don't get any closer. Come on, let's go over here. Do a bomb. There we go. An excellent day for capturing moments. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. They're attacking each other. Thank you. Truly magnificent, that one. We can move on now. Oh, that, is, that was actually pretty short, too. That wasn't too bad. Exhilarating. Positively exhilarating. Thank you. I have one more request. Local peacocks performing their mating ritual. I'd love to see that. Apparently, a flock dwells not far from here. We can go. Just don't count on peeping at them while they mate. Season ended a month back. Oh, that's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing you can do if they prove uneager to present? Perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself, and I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher magic. They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. Uh, yeah, guess I can try. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but a hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. All right, it is peacock finding time, evidently. I was wondering, why peacocks? My, my daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. We're close. It's a little weird. Eyes in the back of your head. Odorous peacock feather. A feather from the rump, coated in suet. 
Cox shed it recently and the sewage's got a distinct scent. Ought to be able to track the flock. A witcher in action. What a treat to watch. Okay, where are you at? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's lovely. Now, if they could just splay the tails. See what I can do. Find a good spot. Ready! Use your magic, Witcher! Oh, this'll be a masterpiece! Smile, please! <laughs> oh my god, it's so much bad, isn't it? Damn it! Where did they come from? Must have followed us. Get back! Where are you at, bud? Ah, Geralt! Save me! Where? Who? Okay. Ah, Geralt! Save me! Quinn it up. There we go. Do not look in my direction! All over now. Whew, that was... That was... Tense. Uh, I believe I've had my fill of excitement for today. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Let's get what you home. What a wonderful adventure. Get everything you wanted? Yes. In that case, time to get back to your camp. Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, master. You see, lads, there was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our dear count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. New life? He was feeling down? Made no mention, did he? Ten years back, his last Clarissa is her name, took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now, or rather paintings he brings home. There's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You show discipline, reliability, responsibility. I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. It's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. Your reward. Use it well. Thanks. I have one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Sure. Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Francola. I'll be by. See ya. Which or not, you still to bust your bum. Wait until noon tomorrow and go to the picnic. Okay, folks, we're in Frank and Callers. We're going to go take a look to see... And I probably shouldn't care too much, but I always love the little things. And especially in Witcher. They always do just these little cool things. Alright, we're in here. Alright, so I don't want to loot, do I? Let's loot the letter from the wife of Count Philadol. My dearest... Everything here is good. For several days now, the sun has been shining. It's quite hot, so the window in Clarissa's room is open almost all day. You could see her little face when rays of sunlight hit it. Pure joy. She looks like she was just before the accident. If it gets a bit warmer, I'll have her chair taken down to the garden. The day before yesterday, Master Boyovard's wife, Elisa, visited us. You remember her, don't you, when the Bayards moved to Kovir? 
all the sideways were scared of inviting her to dine as she seemed to be either mad or some sort of self-taught witch. This was all because despite not having the right education, she made magical ointments and cosmetics. It is said she spent three years in the Dragon Mountains learning from some elven sorceress. You know, I don't pay much heed to gossip, which is why when the butler announced to her, I immediately invited her in for a glass of lemonade. It turns out she's an exceedingly charming person, and stories of her alleged witchcraft are highly exaggerated. She actually studied for three years at Arutsa, but because of some bad investments made by her father, she had to leave the academy. She left, however, with a good knowledge of plants and their magical applications. She brought with her a healing ointment, which I have to rub in Clarissa's legs each morning and evening for 10 days. When the treatment is complete, Elisa promised to visit again to see the results and advise us further. I have a good feeling about this woman. In my next letter, I'll tell you what happened with the treatment she recommended. Take care of yourself, my dearest. I beg that you don't overreact and do something silly. If something happened to you, I wouldn't know what to do. I love you, Arabella. Oh, that is so damn cute. Oh my god. Oh my god, that is cute. All right. We're talking to the nobleman. Oh, we're looking at paintings. Women love tears. Oh. Men prefer wine. Oh, that's kind of cool. Witcher taming peacocks. Yes, a face no ointment. It's wonderful to meet the subject of the Baron's new cycle. The white wolf Such taming Buclair centipedes. Enjoy the exhibit. Oh, I kind of like these. Ah. Kind of cool. Excuse I'm sorry. You. I'm sorry. I don't mean to bump you. Oh, is this me saving the panther? Hold on. Let me. I want to see it. Hold on. Whoa. Hold on. Uh. Geralt and a panther. Geralt, not Geralt. I don't know why I said that. Oh, these are kind of cool. Mm. Ooh. All right. I need to talk to my friend here. Both male and female Beauclair centipedes are formidable predators. The bees prefer to hunt in packs, yet the author of this extraordinary work was able to capture a lone specimen preparing to attack. Cast your eye on the hunter, who, though fully aware of the danger, wears a look of cold determination on his face as he awaits the optimal moment to strike. <coughs> ah, Geralt, you're here. Wonderful. Come, please. I'm delighted to see you. I have a small gift for you, and I shan't let you refuse. You are free to sell it, of course. Though I would be honored were you to hang it in your home. Thanks. Oh, I'll take it. Yeah. Talk to your guards back at the camp. Told me about Clarissa. Sorry to hear about her accident. Thank you. Kind words that mean a great deal to me. How's Clarissa these days? Probably can't wait for you to get back. <laughs> to get her gifts, you mean? I've dispatched two already. She'll not need to wait for my return. En route home, I mean to pass through Dol Blathana. They say one can see Sylvans there. Yeah, actually happened to no one. Name's Torque. He can be mean, but for the right fee, he'll do anything you ask. Splendid! I thank you for the hint. Tell him I send my regards. Good crowd. You got a lot of friends. All of them seem to be fawning over your paintings, too. Oh, when you have as much coin as I do, friends buzz around like flies on fresh meat. And they praise you to high heavens for each trip, burp and sneeze. Not all are lying sycophants, that's not what I mean. Just most. Unfortunately. Why bother? Why even invite them around? I'm a man of enterprise, and must put my trade before any personal hatreds or sympathies. Besides... Besides? At times, I'll exhibit a completely failed painting, just to listen to them twist their tongues into knots, trying to find just the right superlatives to lather on smeared rubbish. Naturally, the more intent someone is to get into my good graces, the louder they praise my masterpiece. It's devilish fun, I tell you. Oh, that's pretty awesome. I kind of like the guy. Nice meeting you. So long now. I thought that was kind of a cool do-your-own-thing. This is what I think Witcher 3 does really good with. All their little side missions. 
aren't exactly the same thing. You might have to go do like three things to clear it up, but they have little storylines. I love the storylines. Now, if Assassin's Creed can learn from this, that would make me love that game way more. But folks, this is where I'm going to wrap it up. I will see you next time, and until then, take care.